so in today's episode uh, we're just going to uh, continue with our application and uh, we are about to uh, we are combining to see how we are going to complete the application so most of our functionalities are working really right now okay <clears throat> we saw yesterday we can have these pages working so we shall start with the symptoms okay we shall start with these symptoms someone can also get uh by these symptoms okay uh, can also get doctors by just even putting any of these symptoms we have already seen you can get a doctor by for instance uh, go to primary health here you can see men is headed you have one doctor here okay and you have these filters uh, also working really well okay so yeah um, we're just also going to go today and look at how we can also uh, do the same thing with the filters uh, i mean with these um if i go back with the symptoms okay and then after that uh, if time allows we're just going to cut the search and we shall just like uh, be also putting these links to how they are supposed to be so right now they we also have these pages if someone clicks on or see or so we need to go ahead and also create these uh pages uh, these two pages okay uh, i think we can use the same uh, thing here we used yesterday but these two pages we can create a third one like um we can just create a category page for these and uh, these two the in-person visit doctors and the, the the other ones so i'm just going to first actually create that that is the easy one so i'm just going to go here to we have the service so we can also have kind of have this um so if you look first of all on the page so we did these are the two services where we had this operation mode telehealth uh, like this okay telehealth doctors and this other one is in person visit okay uh we shall just uh combine them into i think we suggest like do a slug or something okay um we'll see how to how to check that maybe we're just going to pass the operation mode okay I'm just going to create here the category. Uh, in this front, I'm just going to create category. So page. I can just create category. And then within this category, I can copy one of these ones. I'm just going to copy this and put it in this, the page. Now, uh, we don't need to have here a slug. <coughs> I think we can also have we can have a slug um, category slug
you can just like pass a i think for this one we can just simply say uh pass a param we might just need even a slug so i will be passing a param okay i will just pass a param and we can just receive this param uh, here and this one is going to be mod in this case is going to be mod just like this okay and the we shall just maintain the same thing uh, this time the title is going to be actually just like the mod so we can send uh, we can just send i'm just going to comment this code here we shall just have like only a few things here I don't know why we didn't do a slug for this, but we're just going to do the same thing we are doing onto the home page. So here we have on the home page we have these two. We get all the doctors. And then we filter uh, like this. We could just also get these. Um, get doctors i think we can also do that i don't know if it is possible get doctors by operation mode instead of doing this really the uh these days i don't like doing uh things on the front end just a second Okay. so we could just like create a query uh, where we can get doctors by operation mode if you just go here to doctors um, okay there is get doctors by service I'm just going to duplicate one of these ones. I'm also going to say get doctors by operation. Operation mode. Okay so here we just need to get um, i'm not doing all these so here just going to say we take in mod and then you say here if mod okay and then we can just say const uh, doctors is equal to uh, since it is actually just like in the same uh, it's supposed to be i guess the same format okay i can just also get so we need the doctors and the services right because yeah what we return we return this Okay. 
Okay, we're just going to get doctored by await uh, Prisma. Just await Prisma client dot. So here we could first get um. We could already first get the doctors. Uh, I think it's better of, um, as we say, it is better of um, this site. And I think because of, let me just go back to category page. Go to the home page and let's get these. Uh, so here we will have we have the doctors. Just a second. Okay. So. I'm just going to um to get the mod and then from here I'm just going to paste this. I have the doctors. Okay. Then here we are just going to have the mod. And here we're just going to be putting this mod here. Just like that. And we just need to say these ones are the doctors. Just going to say all doctors. Okay. I can remove this one. Uh, we not have the services. We can have here mod. And for this, okay, we have the doctors dot link. And then here, I'm just going to remove the part of this. Um, We could just like say for the other for the other services, maybe we just simply put all other services for this case. I'm also going to get the all other services here const uh, services is await get services okay and this i think there is dot gate dot data just like this so just going to go ahead and pass in mode okay so for the two here i'm just going to go to again to the home page where we have uh, these I will have these for these to hit it. I will copy this. I will go to the to here. Yeah. 
Un detallito de historia. Here where we have C or we just going to write here and we put slash slash category then question mark we just going to put mode echo and then we're going to put this okay So we put mod equal to that. Similarly, uh, similarly, you can just go ahead and you put on the other one. Let me just go back to the other one. which has this in a personal visit. So you can just go here and, okay. So here we pass in this, I don't know if it is the title, let's just go and cross check. in the page so doctors <clears throat> so here we are passing the title as this so just make sure even this other one has a title so the one of perihelith we're just going to pass in actually this very one And then we have this one. Okay. So when we go to this site, we'll use the title. Mod is equal here to dollar title. Okay. Let me see the page we created is a category page. Yeah, category. So if we just go ahead and we hover onto this and we click on it. Okay, so you can see we have two here, and then we have these other ones, okay? In person, doctor visit, it is showing these ones. I think because of the time, these other doctors, they are not able to be seen because of the time. Okay, uh, similarly, we can go to this. I think there are no, they are 10, but I think because of also time, Okay, and some of these ones, uh, because when you are creating a doctor and you don't complete the setup, they by default be in the Ted Harris visit. Okay, so uh, that's great. Uh, it was great to work on that. So that one is also um, worked upon, Ted Harris visit. Okay, so we can also just go ahead and uh, um, link these ones on top here. You can see we have them in the navigation here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this href. If you go to the shop header, 
And as you can see, shop. We can just go here. What did we give it? Front page layout site header. Okay. So we have here these here saying services. And we really need services to be said. I'm just going to remove this. Okay, and as well as this. And then I go in this, I also remove these services. Okay. I will remove services and this command menu. Um, I think we're just going to comment this command menu in the header. So we are looking for the links. I think the links, they all located in the config. Uh, if we look for where we have config here. Uh, we have these links here. So we have this one, this, uh, a, I'm just going to, is where we have these ones. So the H wave is going to be category. Question mark mode is equal to, and then even this H wave is going to be category. Mod is equal to so need to get the mod for both of these ones. I can put that And then we can also have this. Okay. Now these other pages, uh, they about, I'm just going to remove them. So we have this be a service provider. I think that one we already have it here. Join doctors. So this one is join a doctors. Okay, so here now we have all these links. They will be now working. So work on the ones on the, so you can just see, I don't know where these ones are coming from, docs, this is for sidebar navigation, we have here the main nav, then we have the sidebar nav, What is uh, 
have an idea why these ones are not changing okay let's first find out just a second so it hit uh, I think we still have an error. I'm just going to go ahead and restart again because the site header is indicating services which we actually removed. It's still compiling. I just wait and see. Okay, it has compiled. So let's go back to the site header. So the site header has the main nav and the mobile nav. If you go to the main nav, It looks at this. Okay, so here you're supposed to have item dot each ref. And just give it by default and just give it a hash if we now go back it should now work Okay, so you can see now it is uh, working. Okay, okay, that's great. Okay, so now at least that one is done. We can have uh, confirm these ones are also working. A person visit and then this B service provider. Okay. Okay, Terry Hedis. Okay. 
Jane Doctors. Okay, so everything uh, is okay. Everything is okay right now. So what next we're going to work on, I think, is going to be... <coughs> uh we have we have our links we have our links working i think we need now to work on the search uh let's first work on these symptoms and then after we shall end with the search and then after search we do the hosting okay so right now we have these uh, uh these as you can see them so we need to also find uh we need to find also these to find doctors by these some of these uh these um symptoms so someone clicks on asthma would get like doctors who treats asthma so let's go back to if you go and check in the schema, actually symptom has no any relationship. And that's because if you check, I think, either in the doctor profile, if you check in this, you can see it has symptom IDs. Okay. So if you check also in the doctor profile, you will see that we have service, we have specialty, and then we have these uh, symptom IDs, okay? So we can find, uh, that means we might just actually have to route uh, by the IDs for these particular ones we can just go to business so we'll be taking also to the category page okay just going to say symptoms so i will click here uh, something for symptoms so within this let me create a new file called we just go to symptoms and say the symptoms we shall have this uh, slug okay shall have slug and then inside here we're just going to have page to tsx okay and i will just copy the same thing we have here and I just want you to paste, uh, to paste it here. Okay, so we receive, uh, here we're just going to receive a param of ID. Okay, here we're just going to receive the param of ID. And this ID is going to be the ID for the, uh, the symptom ID, this one. And we shall just pass that to the back end. So would want to get uh, to get all doctors uh, which contains on that. And I can just copy um, just copy this. So I just want, we're going to be using, I think the profile, what did we use yesterday? So we can simply get from the profile. And we get from the profile or... <coughs> Yeah, we need to get from the profile. We suggest to do it the way we did for specialty. 
So if I just come here and I go to chat, okay. Uh, here is my Prisma model. How do I fetch? How do I get? Uh, doctor profiles by uh, by a symptom ID by a symptom by a symptom ID okay so if you are given a symptom ID so you can see here we pass in a symptom id and then we find many where symptom ids has symptom id okay so this is great i'm just going to get this one so before that let's go to doctors uh, this one we created of recent this one so just going to use the one of speciality because they want to look like the same. Okay. Just like this. So here is gate doctors by symptom ID by symptom ID. We pass in the ID symptom id just like this and we check if symptom id we have doctors so we're just going to get from this okay So we're just going to get back the profiles. So here I'm just going to get this. Okay. Which is here Prisma client. Dot doctor profile. Dot find many where symptom IDs has this specific symptom ID. This one will give us the doctor profiles. Okay. So we don't want to return them, but what we just want to do is map through them. So the doctors. If you hover here, I think we have to include uh, within this where and we can say include was it like include the availability that's true that's where the problem was i guess okay then now uh, for these services uh, these ones we just going to fetch all other uh, we shall just fetch all other remaining symptoms so just get here symptom don't find many uh where not symptom id so here we just going to say symptom id so we get all others uh now how we are going to create the slug 
Okay, we shall modify, but let's just have this here. Just like this. Okay. That is cool. Okay. I'm just going to go here. Gate symptom by ID. So if we go back to symptoms, so where we get this data, just pass in this and this pass in ID. Okay. And this ID, we can just say as string, just like that. So everything else remains exactly the same. We shall also have the slug, so that is okay. When we are passing in also the ID. Now, even this here, we're just going to change a little bit. We send to the symptoms, symptoms. And then we put service.slug. But we also put the ID. ID equal to dollar service dot. Okay, so the this has we need to pass here ID, okay? But now in the fetch, in this one, okay, let's go back here to where we have the services. And they are on this service here. I'm just going to go to this. I will pass in ID which is not required string, okay? This should keep everything fine, okay? And this, uh, since we are not mapping here, we just like fetching everything, everything should remain the, exactly the same. So we have doctors, symptoms, okay. So if we come back to page symptoms, everything should just now remain working. Okay. Let's say go to where we have the symptoms and let's go there. I'm just going to go back to page. And I can also quickly copy this href. Okay, let's go to the tab section. Uh, we have the symptoms. So we can just find where we are passing the symptoms uh, on the symptom cards here. And we move down here, and where we have this href, I'm just going to change this. Uh, so this is going to be item, and this one is going to be so item. Okay, so let's go back, refresh. Okay, scroll down. So if you got symptoms, for instance, we could go to business, just like this. Could just like open a few of them, see if we can find any with a doctor. Okay, so we have one doctor who is not showing up. 
Okay, so we have this one and a fever. Okay. And we also have this one, uh, which has three. Uh, no doctor's diarrhea. Okay. But you can see we have all of them. Now let's just go and see, for instance, fever has two. I'm just going to go here and look for fever. Uh, fever, which is here. Okay, so you can see it is routing properly. So we have also, uh, you can get doctors by a symptom. Okay. So uh, this is really, really cool. Okay. And you can just get doctors by just a symptom. And uh, you just went here and depression. You can see depression has to. Okay. But they are not available. Okay okay so that's cool uh now the only remaining one is now search okay uh we are remaining with search which is also going to be having the same layout okay we are going to use uh, this one for some reason i tried to configure this i couldn't However, nice. Uh, it feels like I couldn't. If you can configure it, I mean, it is not hard to show up these ones, but I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know if it is just like some stylus, but I can't get this to click to be clickable. Okay. So I'm just going to opt it out and I will just use the normal search. Okay. Yeah, I will just use the normal search. And then we should just like really do that. Okay, so also the only thing is to make sure also we get the search page. So I'm just going to go up here. Also in the front, let's create another one here, new file. Uh, it is going to be also uh, search. Okay. Uh, for this one, it's just going to be page TSX. Okay. So just go ahead exactly the same way we did for. Um, not symptoms, specialty service. Uh, we're just going to copy one of these ones and shall use it. So good search. So this just we're just going to get the query. So in the params, instead of type, is going to be query. Just like that, can just get the query. So we'll be just getting. We'll be just creating gate by query, just like that. And we'll be searching in many things. We'll be searching in services, in doctors, and so many other things. Okay, so what I'm just going to do for that, we have to create that search, gate doctors by search query. Now for that, I think I had written some uh, some hint in this. If you just go and see where I have uh, where I have Prisma fetch in this file, Prisma fetch, I wrote this search here where it takes in a query string, and then we can search in so many places we can search in service we can search in um, symptoms we can search also in uh, the profile 
if you search by name maybe we're going to remove others and then you can return them just like this okay so yes we're going to modify a little bit uh, of that page to match what we want because this one we're just going to be searching like this okay so having said that i'm just going to go ahead and get this a function and uh, this one uh, let's go to the doctors so we just need to create a function export async function so you need to get get uh, doctors uh, get doctors by search so this one we take in a query string just like that and then we can paste this okay so get doctors by search and we take in a query string okay and we can use this um promise dot all this is if you just have a lot of asynchronous you could just do one by one but you can just do them uh, synchronously using promise dot all so here's going to be prisma client prisma client uh, so this one if you search in the services it can return a list of services okay um uh, if you just get the services okay then you could also search in the symptoms uh, prisma dot prisma client also prisma client okay so here you don't have to search for in all these ones maybe you could just search for the doctor first name and then we don't need this okay and that one will be if you wanted but this way i left it because you can see if you wanted to search in this very huge things like this one okay but you don't need to do this we can only search maybe for the um you can just search uh, in a few of them maybe services you can also just go in his education history that one is not necessary research accomplishments all these ones are not necessary okay but i just left this one to see that you can also search by that okay you can get back the profiles okay um let's go and see i have no idea of how we are going to get this okay you can see it returns this object here okay i'm just going to see how i'm going to do that get doctors so i'm just going to go to the search and let's get the data here just get doctors and this pass in the query kind of first import this and this is going to be a string okay so all these other things let's first uh, actually take them off the doctors and services and other things 
and i'm just also going to go ahead and comment all this I'm just going to search here for this right now. I'm just going to say query. Okay. And then the results. Um, let me first or say take off this. Okay. Uh, I'm just going straight to search and we see if we can route to this place. Uh, we'll console log data. And for the title, we're not going to get the slug here. And then you can also remove this. I can only leave the search params. Okay, so I just want to go and work on the search. So we can just get the search from uh, maybe just go to follow by. You can just get a search. In input, so you can just get a search input here quickly. So I think this one is actually the appropriate one. Let's first see others. Yeah, I think this one is the one we need, the one that looks like this. I'll copy it. I'm just going to go to the hero section. go to the hero section where is the hero section here where we have the command i'll just go ahead and create a search bar okay so i'll just create a search bar and then i i'll put this in components just create search bar so search search bar the TSX RFC uh, just go and return this. Okay, I'm just going to fix first of all what there is class. I will just add class name. Okay, and then where there is four, I'll replace this. Control F, HTML four, just like that. Okay. So just going to so to replace this with a search icon. Let's just go and see if we go to Rosit, we can get a search icon. Okay, it is just called search. We can just go here and we add the search. from roasted just copy this class name and it this one okay 
So lastly is connecting this search bar now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this search bar. And I'm just going to add this search bar to the hero section where we have this. I'm just going to replace it with the search bar. Just like that. Uh, do we, we had we already created the search bar? I'm not so sure if this is the one. So we have two search bars now. I don't know which one is which. We can first check. There is the one which is with the hero here, within here. There is this one. It's max width. Magnifying glass. Okay, we can just like look at them and we see. Okay, there is this one. Okay. And let's go ahead and add the other one. So there is this one. There is also another one, this one. So you just look at this one. Oh, okay. So I think we had modified it, uh, but I think it is the same. We just modified and made it round. I think this one is much better. Let's go with this. Okay, we have it here. It has such the same exact component with the magnifying glass. Okay, so how do we get the input and then send it the other side? Uh, so we want to do it rudimentary, someone must search in something and click search. I don't want to do the one of on input, that one is going to be less performance. So let's just go and search, someone types in and then searches. Okay, so for that we're just going to have her here handle uh, async function. Do we need to make it async? I don't think so, but let's go here function uh, handle search. Okay. Okay, so here just going to have this uh, console log for now whatever that uh, we have okay so we can just go to the input we create here i think some state const query set query is equal to use state so when we just come to this we just going to say on change and we can just say for instance e And then we have set query to e dot target dot value. And then we are also going to do here value equaling to query. Okay.
and then afterwards we have this button which has submit and then we just going to have on this form we just have on submit okay we can first get the types by saying e dot prevent default so you can just come here and you see type script for this you just simply copy it just go to this handle search and you say e of this type and let's go to this here and run this function on submit we're just going to pass in this handle submit it is handle search okay so here you can just go ahead and console.log query i guess supposed to console.log query so we can test that okay we can just go here and we can make this use client use client okay so let's go to small screen here i'm just going to clear everything and we can just say cross all other tabs we leave these ones okay so i'm just going to type for instance uh, one of the things we have here is like mental health so i'm just going to type in like mental health okay i'm just going to go ahead and create everything here search so you can just see we have to do e dot prevent default so here after a dot prevent default to avoid the page reloading so let's search one more time uh, main to health just like this so you can see we have main to health okay and that is the query so at this point what we want is to to get to the search param so we just want to first get here const uh, router is equal to use router <clears throat> so what i would want is i want us to router dot push and we can just go to the search page with the query equal to dollar make sure this is backticks just like this and you're just going to pass in the query okay so let's try to see this so we have main to health let's try to query okay I'm just going to get my to health and query. Okay, and you can see this has going to query uh, main to health. And uh, on this, if you go on that page of search, we actually passed in and we console log data. 
So I don't know what happened. We have a lot of things here. Promise pending. Okay. Uh, we don't have back the data that is for sure. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go to the site. Okay. It seems like the promise is still pending or something. Okay. So I could just do rudimentary way. I don't think I could just come here and uh, just say, for instance, if query, I'm just going to say if query and uh, cost services is equal to this to await so just await so i would just get this okay i can also get this Const uh, just going to also good symptoms symptoms await uh, we can do this sad one also. Specialities, specialties. Okay. And then finally, we can do this. Uh, we can just go here and say const uh, profiles is equal to await and then we do this okay so this return We have to modify these ones uh, really well so that, <clears throat> okay. So, down here, just going to have a return uh, services. Okay. Symptoms, maybe with doctor profiles. There is specialties. Okay, just like this. Okay, so we could just also map and basically would want the slug, ID, title, and slug for everything here, maybe except for the profiles. Okay, we don't want these to be as 
many as these ones. So I'm just going to go to here. So on this, we could just say services, for instance, dot map. So we have a service. So what I would want to return is return. Return. Just going to return an object which has ID which is going to be service.id and the title it's going to be service do title uh, slug service slug okay maybe this one we could just like go ahead and put the image or something okay it is image url so you say image url Let's see. Uh, let's first see, for instance, in the tab section, control P. Tab. Excuse me. So we have service list, which takes in services. Now we could just look at the type of services that it is taking in. Service with doctor profile count. So you can just look at this, which has service with the profile count, this is the exactly the 101. Okay. So to get this, um, if you go to services, actually, where we had get services here, yeah, we just simply need to do this. Select. Okay, simply select, and I'm just going to go ahead uh, to the doctors on service. And you can just do this, select. I can simply add select just like that. Okay. And then for the symptom, going back the tabbed uh, tabbed items, tabs items. We have specialties and these ones just remain the same exactly, and then the symptoms remain exactly. So those ones, uh, those ones we are okay. Those ones, uh, uh, these ones we are very much okay. Now, where we have the doctor profiles. <clears throat> 
Um, we we'll just use uh, for the other one. We we'll just we we'll use. Wanted to use these uh, these cards here. Okay, that means uh, we do exactly the same as the way we did in the speciality or the way we did here in the symptom IDs. So after getting the profiles where you have to include this. Okay, and then we have to get the doctors. Uh, so for this, just include. And then from there, we're just going to get the doctors. Uh, which is this here, Control C. Okay. So after getting the profiles, we can just use doctor profiles to get the doctors. So it comes to doctors. Okay. After getting these profiles, um, we can really uh, get here symptoms and then also get the doctors just like this. Okay. In this return statement, I'm just going to, we don't need to manipulate this. Uh, simply remove everything. Okay. So you're turning services, this, this, and that. Uh, maybe we just put the doctors on top, maybe services first. Then we should just like look for the way of getting these ones. Okay. Okay. So let's let's go and see if now we have some results. Then we're here. Okay, so now we have some results. Okay, we have some results. And the, okay. We could also just like recompile this and get, get doctors by such, we could just try to find the doctors instead because where we have uh, this, if you remember very well, we are still in the doctors. We had the services. Get doctors by service slug. Now this one was service slug. But after getting the services back, that is the most important. Okay. Uh, after getting these the services we went ahead included doctor profile and then I got the doctors just like that okay uh, I think I just need to do that Let's include this, for instance, include, uh, we're just going to return one of the doctors, I can see. Okay. 
Okay, so for the services, select. Uh, now we are just ch changing. We just going to do this. Include, just like so. So from here you can get the doctors. Okay, I'm just going to go here to the service and get the doctors. Okay. I'm just going to go and get the doctors. So after this, we're just going to say const service doctors. Okay, service doctors is going to be equal to oh uh, that was getting a service that is not possible. Okay. Just go back to what we had. Uh, this one, <laughs> I'm just going to do this one the way we did. This one is good enough. Okay. I'm just going to get services, these uh, symptoms, and then the doctors. Okay, so I'm just going to go here. on the search page if you look at what we get back here if we want to get for instance const doctors is equal to data dot so here we supposed to have our weights. Data dot. So you can say doctors. If they're not there, we just said empty. Okay, then we just going to have services. Uh, we're just going to have specialties okay and then uh, finally we're just going to end with symptoms okay so we have all this data now we need to show it uh, for the services so i'm just going to do this services we will leave them actually there but then uh, on here we just use the service cards so just going to say here h2 uh, we just say results for and i can just say do the i can just say this query in
for instance, in services. Okay. So I'm just supposed to have, for instance, dot grid, grid calls maybe five. And we just say services dot dot map service yeah I don't know if this is the service card. We had the tab the section. Services. The we use service list. And in the service list. I think we're supposed to bring in just the service list. Just let's bring the service list instead here. Let's go and see in the search. Let's first see, we just like pass the service the list and then takes in data. Equal to services. Okay. I'm just going to put this in padding Y. of maybe six dot border bottom okay so we should just also have the another one for double the section The items. Another one is specialties. We are using the linked cards. You pass in the color and then this. So just go here and we pass in linked cards. And then for the symptoms is the symptom cards. Okay. Uh, go back here. Uh, these ones are going to be, we have services, we have special T's. I'm just going to put here the linked cards. And then finally we have uh, finally we have the symptoms. And these are like symptom cards. And so we want only to put them if they exist. So I'll just go back here. 
and just gonna say for instance if services and services dot length is greater than zero then here we're just going to do this similarly to the specialties okay if special it is specialities dot length is greater than zero then and and then finally on this uh, just going to say if we have symptoms and symptoms dot length is greater than zero then okay similar to the doctors uh, for them we have already this component here okay so when we go to this you can see that for instance we have the main to head it right we have the uh, main to head it uh, coming in here with one doctor so i want to make this here First of all, I want to say search results for just to somehow just to do this. This uh, reduce it a little bit three. And then here too. Okay, such as that's for main to hit it. Don't have to capitalize this. Oh, it is having capitalized. Uh, we we'll just cut this capitalized too. Put it in a span. Okay, just like this, and then I will put this. Let me give a class name to this. A padding bottom of three. Okay. Then I will do the same thing uh, for the doctors, uh, but first of all, let's copy this class. Okay. Okay, so for the doctors, I'm also going to put this and and so that we don't need this part here okay so we're just going also to do the same thing here
So here I'm just going to add this. Adding y of six. There is no need of the border. Okay, so now the good thing is if you now right click and click, if you click on this, it takes you to that specific doctor. Okay, so let's go and search for something else now. I want to search for the doctor Asuman, for instance. I want to search for Asuman. Just like this, search. And you can see you have this uh, uh, not in symptoms. Okay. Uh, this is in doctors. Okay. In doctors. And you can see you have this doctor here. Uh, for the services, okay. Uh, we could just like show all services under all circumstances. I'm just going to go here and get all services. <clears throat> we just simply say, for instance, const. Const. All services. Okay. Just going to say all services is equal to await gate services. Then dot data. Just like this. Um, maybe uh, oh, this already. So I just want to merge them with these ones. Okay. I could just say now. Uh, search services search. We we'll just say you now const services is equal to spreading. A, I think we could just also use it conditionally if. Okay, services they will equal to such. If such a uses dot length is greater than zero, then is going to equal to such services here. Is it going to equal to such services? That is, uh, if this is greater than zero, if this is true, it is is going to be all services. Okay, so under all circumstances, we should just have some services here. If we just say browse by services. I'm just going to come here and say browse by services. Oh, the problem with that is this. So for this side, uh, for this side here. Uh, for here, we're just going to have such services. 
here. It has to be search. Search services. Okay. Even this search services. But then this one, you can just leave it on and you see browse. Uh, by services okay can you say browse by services so you have like here these uh, services but at least you have uh, you have this And we could just like put the brackets if we wanted on these here on the browse. So we'd want uh, to put in front here. We can put service dot count dot doctor profiles. Okay. Um, we could convert this to string like this and then we say uh, to yes do part start and then we do to zero yeah just like to add to tell how many uh of these so here you can see let's add some small spacing between uh, here we just say and in bps was it like that is it any bps any bsp i guess just add some space someone can just know okay hey, this one has one three zero zero just like that okay so the search is also working uh, we can also go ahead and test it one more time Uh, we need to clear after the search. Uh, let me just search for something like we know has some for this is a UTI. Okay, just say UTI. Even if you just type in small letter UTI. Okay, so you can see you have search for UTI here, and this UTI here just bold it inside the search page where we have the search results down here in this so where we have the query i'm just going to put in a span Uh, class name font semi bold so let's copy this let's add it inside wherever we have the query Okay, and you can see even we have at least one symptom, UTI, which is really cool. So you can see that we have uh, such results in symptoms and in services, we have these 
a UTI and TAD three doctors, and then you have in symptoms. Okay, so you can even cite by symptom diagnosis like this. Okay, you might not be having like doctors or they are there, but you can see you have also UTI consult just like this, and you see uh, how we are just making the whole app now really nice okay uh, that's really great as we said you can search for the also the doctor If you just search for, uh, let's look at the doctor here. For instance, Porter. So if you just come in and they say Porter, whether you put in small caps or it doesn't matter, Porter. Is it the spelling, Porter? That was even Lean. I can just search for Lean and you see you have uh, Lean, okay? So right now, after this, I'm just going to go ahead. Let me first see the time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we should just like uh, there is find doctor. I think find doctor is supposed to be still the a uh, the search. Okay, uh, find doctor is still the search. We could even add here the uh, the search where there was this. We can still put that because I'm seeing there's big space remaining. I'm just going to go to. Cited or something. Uh, so while we had this command, I'm just going to also add the search bar now. Search. And we have to remove one of the two because we have this now i don't know if that is the one i guess let's see we have to delete one such so like for instance this one is not the one okay so i'm just going to go ahead and remove this um let's again put it by this one i'm just going to remove it search bar okay so it actually fits nicely on this uh, let's test it by first going to we shall also work on these ones in a second but let me just go to the home page and let's try this search mental health okay you can see it searches uh, let's clear after someone has gone to that place we need to clear i'm just going to go to this so after here i think after routing uh, right now i don't need to console so after routing i just need to do clear uh, by saying set query set query to this yeah okay so just do it one more time i'm just going to search for uti search 
So you can see we have this UTI. Okay, so uh, great. Okay, uh, great. Um, we have all these links now working. Maybe just to the links, to the links on the on the small screen, these ones. I'm just going to go there to your small screen. The mobile, the mobile nav. Mm, this one is not working for now. He's also using the boss, the main nav. And then we are adding this. These are not necessary. Okay. They are really not necessary. Uh, let's just maintain the same. Even now, uh, remove this. So we shall just have the same links we have on the. Yeah. And you see they are already also working. Okay. Uh, that's great. Uh, that's great. You can see a UTI console still is brought in the services, brought here and here. So there is, at least the search and everything is really, really working really well. Uh, this search would, we could make it also on the big screen. Control P site header. Uh, here we have with this full, then MD with this photo. Flex none. Uh, let's first uh, uh, do this and see. I think that one is much better. When I think, maybe we'll just like modify a little bit. Uh, first of all, let's go back to the search bar. Uh, let's add. Uh, let's add. First of all, uh, the placeholder. We can now search uh, doctors. You can search uh, categories. You can search services. You can search symptoms. And so on and so forth. You can search everything you want now. I maybe also could just like relatively change. I'm padding Y here to maybe three. X can remain at four, but padding Y either two point five or two. Okay, so if you just put it to, you have to move the button a little bit. The button is having position absolute. So you have to move either bottom. I'm just going to go to move bottom by. If we say two. One point five. Okay, yeah. So one point five is good. Is check even this side. Yeah. Uh, this is great. So the search is working perfectly right now, and, and the uh, most of the things right now, I'm really happy that they are working. Everything is right now working.
and uh, yeah uh, the only thing that is remaining is going to be the dashboard customizing the dashboard and hiding the unnecessary pages so uh, for the user we'll see his own pages and the dashboard uh, on the dashboard plus uh, showing the analytics that's the only thing i'm just going to work on i think in the next episode right now i feel like i'm somehow really tired okay if i just go ahead and just uh try to log in I don't know. Um, I will just like log in in the next episode. Right now, let's deploy this. Just going to go here and stop this. Git add. Git commit. And then git commit to say maybe you say added search it push okay uh, let's go to the seal and check. Yesterday it couldn't deploy, it had an error. I didn't check it, but let's check today. I want to appreciate those ones who have uh subscribed please thank you so much for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh also add the notification bell and if you have also not checked out the course please check out check out the course we are about to finish it it is really amazing we are building um today we are adding uh we're adding stripe and other things really the app is really amazing you can always follow and check the updates i always put on youtube and we have an error here let's go ahead and check the error and in page services page services page is saying id blah blah let's go and check in the dashboard services uh, dashboard services dashboard more especially in the page okay Okay, so if you see here in the service cards, uh, let's first go back here and see ID string image count, blah, blah, is missing the following props. It is missing I think created art and updated art. So let's go to gate services. So you just have to uh, still add the created art and the updated art. I think those are the two it was missing. I 
okay so after putting that still what is so now we are good uh, let's hope we don't have any other red and that's it that's the that's it that's the only one right now okay uh, let's push and see more changes or if there is any other errors um i will also create i will create a deployment um a full a full uh demo with those ones who are going to who are buying the code i've always found uh issues with uh, a person buys code and he has no idea he has not been following the series um he has an idea of next js and he buys a code and he doesn't want to pay any extra cost for you know setting up but he has <laughs> so you find is um is having a lot of issues mm -hmm. but i'm just going to make a complete a, a an extended video showing how if you download the code the steps you're supposed to do until deployment so that those ones who will get a resource code you can be able to set it up easily okay And more especially the part of adding data uh, or is people find it uh, they find challenges uh, doing that Okay, I'm still waiting. Okay, it has gone through. Uh, that's nice. Okay, yeah. So thank you so much uh, for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one.